I'm living my best Cindy Lauper moment. Hey you guys, what's up? It's Renee and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been MIA for a little bit, but you know, life got in the way. I moved, I was busy with work, but I'm back and better than ever. I decided that I wanted to do a little like chatty dye my hair with me sort of thing, kind of like a get ready with me, but me doing my hair, giving it a little refresh. This is actually the end result. So if you want to know how I achieved this color and hear why I'm such an embarrassment to myself and everyone around me, please keep on watching. And please, if you have any shred of decency in your body, please do not pay attention to how ugly I look in these next clips. I don't know what was going on with me that day. That was yesterday. Not my best day. I'll tell you that. And please excuse like the weird lighting. I'm still trying to figure out my setup now in this new space. I'm just literally sitting in front of my closet doors. So other than that, let's get on to the video. I feel like I'm not like as personal as I would like to be. So, so you know, I'm just going to share my thoughts with you. I don't know what we'll talk about. We'll see. But I just bleached my roots last night. They're a mess. They're very yellow, but it's okay because I'm going to be dyeing my hair. Hello. Well, kind of, I don't know, maybe like a peachy orange yellow, but it's okay. No need for toner today. And my hair overall just needs a nice little refresh of color. This is the color my hair has been for the past couple of weeks, maybe a little over a month. And it started to fade to this nice little like peachy, strawberry, blondish color. So I think I'm going to go with something more subtle like this instead of something so bright today. And also you can follow me on Instagram at Renee.Horror, shameless plug, you know. <coughs> but let's jump into it. So I have a cozy shirt on, something I won't stain, and if I do, I know it'll easily wash out, but I cannot find any gloves, so hopefully my hands don't get wrecked. But you know, I kind of don't like dyeing my hair with gloves. I can't, I feel like I can't really feel that everything has been saturated, so I usually, I just do them without. So before I keep rambling on, let's go ahead and mix the root color. So I'm just going to be going in with some Arctic Fox as always. This is the color Cosmic Sunshine. Pour her in. Honestly, I wish like my hair could always smell like Arctic Fox. I love that grape smell. Delicious. So this is the amount of Cosmic Sunshine I poured into my bowl right now. I absolutely love how bright it is. But I do kind of want to peach up my color, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with some virgin pink. This one has already been diluted because I'm using it from like the bottle I made a little like refresher for the shower in. But I'm just going to mix this up and see what color I get and then go from there. As you can see, we're getting a little peachy here, but I'm just going to add a little bit more of both the colors. Hi, Grandpa. Okay, so I lied. I'm just going to be adding pink in right now. And we're definitely getting more peachy. That's what I want. Do you ever just like hate your makeup? Because that's me right now. Like I look a mess. I'm not used to having my eyebrows this dark with this light of hair. I feel like freaking Sasquatch. But it's all good. It's all good. So I basically went and swatched the hair dye on a white paper towel to kind of see what the color is going to be like. And I think I definitely do want to darken it up. So I'm going to go in now with undiluted virgin pink. Just a little bit to see how it goes. I'm like the worst when it comes to like ratioing my hair dye. I'm just like pouring it in and mixing until I like it. Like I never really actually measure out and do it the correct way. I do nothing the correct way. So we definitely did get a little darker and I think this is going to be our winning color now. So this is the color I've settled on and now I'm just going to go ahead and start applying it to the root area. And as always, I'm not a professional so if you're scared of messing up your hair, please do not listen to anything I say. Just don't. This video is like most definitely going to be uploaded after Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving guys. I hope you guys spent it well, had a lot of good things to eat. We're surrounded by the people you love. Thanksgiving's in like two days and I'm actually very excited for it. Do you like ever just say fuck it and start using your hands? Cause that's what I'm doing right now. But as I was saying, Thanksgiving is like in two days and I'm actually really excited for it. 
I'm actually going to be going out of town and going to Mexico for Thanksgiving and I'm really excited. I'm going to eat so much. I love going to Mexico. I have a house in Ensenada just to be more specific. have friends and family down there. So we're just going to hang out and spend the holiday with them. It feels like it's been forever since I've been to Mexico. I want to say maybe almost a year and I'm really happy to be going back. I love it down there. I don't know. It just feels like home to me. And plus, I will never get over how good the food is. If you've never had like an actual taco from Mexico, then you've never had a taco. Like, I don't know what it is about it, but tacos in California do not taste the same. Or tacos anywhere do not taste the same as they do in Mexico. Tacos in Mexico are like God's gift to us. What did we do to deserve such nice things? Another Mexico fun fact, since we're on that topic, I actually live there. I was born in California and then basically as a newborn was went to Mexico and I lived there until I was about four years old. Went to preschool there and everything. I don't like remember much because I was so young, but everything I do was a good memory. Love you, Mexico. On another note, wow, I'm like never letting my mom help me bleach my roots again. She missed so much. Like, look at that dark spot right there. But you know, whatever, like, by tomorrow my roots will already be growing in. So I'm just gonna have to live with it. I'm sorry if this video, like, feels awkward because I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at the mirror, and if it's pointless because I'm just talking. But you know what? I, like, really enjoy watching people dye their hair on YouTube. Like, that's probably one of my most, like, watched, like, videos that I watch the most. They don't even have to be talking. I'll just sit there and like watch them smear stuff on their hair and it's like so satisfying to me. And I love seeing like the before and after, the end results of the hair. Like it's weird, like I love watching hair transformations and things to do with hair, but I have zero desire to be like a hairdresser. Just not for me. I once read an article on like hairdresser horror stories where they basically had like clients come in who hadn't washed their hair in like a year. And there's like green gunk falling off their head and I just, I can't do that. I'm not really like a touchy person, like I don't like to be touched and I don't like to touch people. Like it just makes me uncomfortable. I don't know, like I'm not a hugger, like I'm not gonna go up to you and hug you, like I just be like, hey, I don't know. Touching's just not my thing. I like my personal space. I feel like I'm taking forever so I'm going to finish my roots on this side and then I'll be back because I don't want this video to turn out to be like 30 minutes long. So toodles! Hey guys, so I'm back from doing my roots. I have them nice and orange now. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of my hair. I think it's going to turn out a lot brighter than I anticipated which is totally fine. I love bright hair. At least I'll know it'll fade into a really nice color. So yeah, let's mix up this next color. For the rest of my hair, I think I'm going to be going in with a lot of just cosmic sunshine. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this one out, pour one out for the homies. So we got a lot of cosmic sunshine right here in the bowl. And I'm just going to hit it with a little dab of our diluted virgin pink. Probably just like that much to peach it up a little. And then just a couple squirts of conditioner. Maybe like that much. And then mix it on up. This is the color we're left with. I like made a mess out of this little swatch paper, but that's how it's swatching up. The orange is the root color, and then this yellow is what I'm going to do for the rest of my hair. So I'm just going to start off by taking little tiny sections and then kind of running my root color down, blending it in, and then going in with the yellow, making sure the area right here where they meet is nice and blended. This is my second time dyeing my hair like yellow and orange, but honestly, I was so scared to do it the first time. Like I always knew I wanted to do it at least once in my lifetime. I was scared because I kind of like associate not on other people, but myself that I were that if I were to have orange and yellow hair, it would just look like a botched bleach job. But it's honestly one of like my favorite colors I've had to date. I don't know if it's because like I have it during the fall and it just goes with all the color schemes but I've been really enjoying it. And so far no one has said like oh it looks just like a botched bleach job so that's pretty good. Plus like so many amazing women out there have had orange and yellow hair. We're talking 
Cindy Lauper, Haley Williams, and like Lady Gaga. I think when Lady Gaga dyed her hair yellow, I think it was like during her telephone music era, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on it though, I wanted yellow hair so bad. And it's just such a fun color. One thing that I've learned with working with Arctic Fox is that you definitely need to work in tiny, tiny sections to make sure it's all nicely saturated. So what have you guys been up to, to like the five of you that are probably going to watch this? What type of music you've been listening to recently? Music is like honestly such a huge part of me. I love listening to so many different genres. I don't like to really like pigeonhole myself into one genre specifically. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of Amine. He's a rapper from Portland, I believe. He's awesome. If you've never heard any of his stuff, I definitely recommend that you do. His music's just so good and fun to like vibe to. I hate using that word and I don't know why I use it so much. And I love his like excessive use of the color yellow. It just makes everything so happy. Speaking about music, if any of you saw Citizen this last week while they were in California or, you know, wherever you saw them, I'm so jealous. I had tickets to go to their show, but sadly could not make it, so they just went to waste. I was very upset, but you know, can't go to them all. I've seen them before and I know I'll see them again someday, hopefully soon. I know people are always like, oh, I have no regrets in life. I live my life with no regrets. But honestly, I have like one that stands out to me the most. And I always say it's my biggest life regret. Mine is when I missed Title Fight when it played at the Glass House like right after Hyperview was released. Like it was their tour for that album. I remember it was either like by my birthday or my mom bought me tickets for my birthday. Something like that. I just know how to do with my birthday. I had two tickets to go to that show at the time and I don't know what happened but it turned out that the day of I ended up spending it at the beach. I think it was like a Saturday or Sunday. It was a Sunday. Okay now yeah it was a Sunday. So I'm at the beach all day and I'm texting one of my friends and I'm like hey we're still on for a title fight tonight right? And she's like oh I can't go. She didn't really like title fight anyways. She was just going because I needed someone to go with. So I'm like wow okay she flaked on me what am I supposed to do? So I'm like, okay, I'll either go alone or like my little brother will come with me. And the day's going by and I'm like in the sun all day, like tired, sunburnt. And I remember I didn't leave the beach until like super late, like 9, 10 o'clock. But it was okay because Title Fight, like they posted the set times and their set wasn't supposed to come on until like almost 11, I would say. Something late where I could still make it and I'm on my way home and I'm like am I even gonna go to this like I'm tired. I have school tomorrow. Okay, that's one thing about me like in high school I was so anal about going to sleep by 10 waking up and like having enough rest like I needed my eight hours of sleep or if not I could not function and I hated missing school because I hate the feeling of like being behind and having to catch up so I was like <gasps> I'm not gonna go, I'm gonna go to sleep late. I have school tomorrow. I have to do all my homework, like being a little bitch. So I get home, it's like 10, 10.30 almost. I have no makeup on, I've been in the sun all day. I probably smell like the beach. I just do not look good. So I'm like sitting there at home debating with myself, should I go, should I go? I like even changed, I put on a title fight shirt. I put jeans on and I'm like, I look a mess, but you know, it's dark. No one's gonna pay attention to me. No one's gonna see me. Should I just like go? So I get in the car with my mom and brother because of course like I'm 16. I need my mom to take me to the show. I don't have a car or a license. And we drive to the glass house and I, we're like circling around and I'm like, should I get down? Should I go in? And like my inner self, my inner fucking little nerdy bitch self was like, you have school tomorrow. You need to go to sleep. You have to do it. wake up early to go to school. You can't miss. And I decided, no, I wasn't going to go. I was going to go home. So after I like decided that I wasn't going to go, I'm like, okay, I have two tickets. What do I do? So like I'm driving around the thing and like I see people waiting outside the venue. So we're like stopping. We're like, hey, we have two free tickets to the show. Do you want to go? And like everyone we asked was so rude. Like we we're bothering them. And it's like, dude, I'm trying to give you free stuff. Calm down. So long story short, I missed title fight that day because I'm a dumbass and I still regret it to this day. Especially since they've been sort of MIA and not touring. Like, I think the last time I saw them 
was at Chain Fest. Was that last year or two years ago? And they haven't really done anything since. And to top it off, the next day I go to school and I see this like kid that went to the same school as me wearing like a Hyperview shirt. I guess he was at the show the night before and it just like made me so sad and mad at myself. Obviously now that it's been a couple years since I was in high school, I'm like, he should have just went. But of course, school came first for me. I was a good child. So that was like my life's biggest regret. I know some of you guys probably think it's so dumb, but I'm dumb. Whatever. What's yours? Like honestly, just talking about it right now makes me feel so dumb. I should have just gone. But it's funny that we're talking about title fight and how uncool I am because um, when I did see them at the glass house, like right after Floral Green came out, like I think it was their tour for that album, I was like up against the barricade surrounded by people I didn't know. And Ben, the drummer, just decides to walk out. And I don't know like what possessed my body. I don't know what was inside of me that caused me just to like scream as loud as I can, I love you Ben. And literally everyone that was like around me just turned and looked at me like, so embarrassing. I'm just like the biggest embarrassment to myself. Still love you Ben though. Even though I've been kind of feeling Ned as of recently, still love you Ben. But like as soon as the words came out of my mouth, I was like mortified. Like everyone was just like, And I was just like, yeah, I'll shut up now. But yeah, I'm just gonna let this sit in my hair, go eat something, do some work. I love how orange the roots are and then how it gradually fades into a nice yellow color. Hey guys, so it's the next day and this is the result for my hair. I'm absolutely in love with it. I love how I have this little orangey root and it goes down to a nice yellow. It did turn out brighter than I intended it to, but you know what? I am not mad at it at all. I love it. Like I said before, I was scared to dye my hair this color at first because my eyebrows are so dark and I don't know, I feel like with my skin tone it wouldn't really go well, but it turns out that this is actually one of my favorite colors that I've done on myself so far. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was of some entertainment for you. If not, I'm so sorry that I am so boring. As always, you can follow me on my other social medias. I'll have them listed down below. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Check you later.